I'm just a little confused right now. Out of all this recording and stuff, I am just confused about what day it is right now. I thought yesterday was 19, maybe 20. Right now, actually, yeah. Could be. I don't know exactly. And I could actually not have full 24 puzzle. But anyway, um, on to this next puzzle. Whatever day it is, though. Um, and so, I'll be talking about this Rubik's Cube. Um, this is like a vintage 1980s Rubik's Cube. Um, puzzle. And I found it on eBay a while ago. And I've been wanting one of these um, box variants for a while now. And it's... I don't know the full history behind it. No, this looks like... You know what? It, it could be like one of those mail-in catalog order puzzles. But I don't know how this particular one was distributed in this particular box. No. But, yeah, opening it up, no, and when I got it off of eBay a while ago, no, it, I looked at it and played with it a bit, but I haven't done much with it since then. No, um, so, yeah, taking a look on the inside first of all. And it's mediocre. Average. For what it is. Once it's focused. No, but this is like uh, one of the more better ones from the 80s. No. Because this is from the Hungarian batch. No, which um is like basically produced in Hungary for ideal uh, uh, and whatnot because back in the day ideal toy company had a lot of um, factories uh, all over the world like say uh, Hungary there's England yeah, in England, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, there's Mexico, a uh, bunch of others, no, and whatnot. And a lot of them have different batch variants, like different bits and pieces that identify the batch variant from each other due to piece shape and some other piece, uh, design, specification, and even color scheme, logos, and whatnot. Now in this, one, um, if you can see, you know what, has a normal color scheme. Yes, no. Where the colors are arranged similarly to what we expect from today, except for the fact that, well, actually, yeah, technically it is. Same arrangement. So with green on front, white on top, orange on left, uh, red on right, um, B on the back side is blue, and the bottom is yellow. No. So, um, yeah. So, there's that, and once this, once you actually lubricate this properly, um, tension it, no, you can tension it, no, it becomes a really good speed cube, like really good, uh, and the plastic of this one is softer than the regular one, though they're fine. No. Um. 
and it came with this um, instruction manual or not. It's technically not a solution manual. No. But it's just like gives you a brief introduction to the solution. No. And if you want, you can actually like do this, send them two dollars to actually get a solution manual, which I actually own. Uh, I don't want to get it out right now, though, no, but it's actually an okay one. No. Um, but back in the day, um, when um, people were solving these, there was that method of ordering that solution manual booklet or going to your local bookstore, library, one not getting a few of those uh, pre-published uh, solution manual or even like uh, talking to friends at school one not about how to solve it and one not so, or even just basically sit down intuitively figure it out on your own and that was pre-internet days no. So, yeah. And, anyway. Um, that concludes, you know, uh, this day 20-ish. I don't know. Right now, I'm lost of count. No. Of what it is. 